right guys, I'm here. I've got my little sleeve of miniature baits. That's what I'm gonna fish with for at least a little while. I'm gonna try to see how many I can catch on these little, they're crickets, bees, and like little horse flies. I've already got one tied on. I've got the brown cricket tied on. So hopefully I'll be able to catch something off these little miniature baits today. So we'll see. Wish me luck with the miniature bug baits. Oh, this ain't gonna cast very far. It swims pretty good, but sure ain't gonna cast very far. Hey, something's getting tore up down there. Bluegill, probably. Yep, big old bluegill. Man. There you go. It's a nice one. So again, I just caught this fish. It's very pretty. It actually has lines on it. She's fishing with the uh, rooster tails she had made that have one hook. So it's a little different than regular rooster tails. It only has one hook. Cause she, you know, she ain't about that treble hook life. So, but she caught that one. It's a pretty good sized bluegill. You should see the one that I caught uh, before that. Oops, Seriously? Baby, what? Got him. Little bass. First little bass on the, the little, the little lure. Wow, really? I'm going to change colors of the lure I'm using, see if that helps. All right, so I went with this green with the chartreuse bottom, yellow bottom, whatever. So hopefully they will key in on that bottom part, bottom of the bait, and maybe I can get a few more bites. I'm getting bites. I'm just not landing them. So hopefully I'll be able to. Got him. Got a bluegill. Nice size bluegill too. Mm. Dude. Alright, let's get these hooks out. Alright. Catch number two. Nice little bluegill. Another big blue bill. Oh man, he's got something on him. Some kind of growth or something. Gross. Man. Alright, bud, let's get this hook out of your mouth. The good thing I like about these, oh, he just crapped on me about these baits is the hooks just don't have big barbs on them but that's a nice bluegill it's just got some pretty nasty stuff on him all right let's put him back 
didn't wash my hand off because it crapped on me. So, so far I caught one on the, one on the cricket, the first one. Caught one on this one. I'm going to try to maybe catch one more and then I'm going to switch to maybe the bumblebee. See if I can't catch at least one on every one of the baits. That's my goal. They just won't commit. little bass. Emphasis on little. Alright, nice little bass on the grasshopper lure. Let's put this guy back. All right, I caught two on this one. And I caught, just dump these out. One on this one, or maybe it was this one. One of these. So the crickets are done, that green grasshopper's done, so it's either the bee or the horse fly. They can wanna give them so we got all the crickets done, so it's either the horse fly. I think I'm going to do the bee because it'll be just a little bit different color than what they just saw. So the only thing that'll be left are the horse flies. So I'm going to tie this bee on and see if I can catch one on the bee. Okay. Time to move. Something that's smashing some bait over there, but they ain't gonna bite this, I don't think. Uh -uh. And I'm gonna keep one of these out so that I don't have to dig it out of this. Not liking the bumblebee. So I'm gonna take it off. I might come back to it, but for now, I'm taking it off. And I'm gonna put on horse fly. I don't know why they're not liking the bumblebee, but they're just not. These really are some pretty cool looking lures that Rebel makes. And these are probably really old. I got them, I got them in a lot where they sold me all of them. It was just like a little insect lot. So I figured, you know what, I'll buy these. I bought them probably a year ago. Got them for a pretty good price. Pretty cheap price actually, but I mean they are little lures, but they don't just only catch little fish. I have caught a pretty big one at one of the other ponds I fish at on the little grasshopper earlier in the spring. All right, let's see what the horse fly can do. Oh, I got one. One on the horse fly. Nice one too, good gracious. There's some nice bluegill in here. 
definitely some nice bluegill in here. All right, buddy, let me get these hooks out of you. Yeah, I like these hooks because the barbs are just not very big. Like, they're, the barbs are so tiny on here. They're just very, actually, this one looks like the barbs have been clipped off, which is even better, in my opinion, just for what I'm doing. All right, another bluegill. Got him. I watched that one take it. Oh, little one. Oh, there he goes. Go ahead, little one. You can do it. Good job. Oh. Got him. Bluegill. Yeah, got the bluegill. This bluegill like the horse fly. They like the horse fly a lot. Alright. Another nice bluegill. Mm. Man. That one just demolished it. Keep going there, buddy. You're almost there. You're almost there. He demolished it. Another one. I just demolished it. Good gracious. Pretty fish, very pretty fish. You can tell this one has no barbs, or the barbs are pushed down. They're just so the barbs are just so small that these fish get off easily, which is totally fine with me. But just something to think about. If you do get one of these, and let's just say you're fishing a bluegill tournament, you're gonna wanna make sure you either change the hooks out or just watch and see if the barbs are better because there's somewhere the barbs some of these hooks the barbs are a little better but this one obviously they are not because they're popping off left and right rants dirty rascal got him Knew he was gonna do that. Well, wow, it has some funky coloring. Wow, that's a funky looking bluegill. Hmm, huh, interesting. All right, buddy, take off. Well, I had fun using the little little tiny baits. The horse fly seemed to be the one that they liked the best. Um, but it did have the barbs pushed down or the barbs are just non-existent because they would come off a lot at the bank, but totally fine with me. I don't care. I was using the Doc Demon, so don't discount this little rod and reel. It's pretty good actually. So pretty good day. Caught, I don't even know how many bluegill and several bass and I just decided I'm these these lures do catch big fish too. It's not just little fish. I didn't catch any bigger ones today But at the beginning of spring I was fishing with one of the little grasshoppers and in one of the other ponds I caught about a five pound bass and if I can find the clip, I'll put it right here That's definitely the biggest one I've caught out of here. Come on. Ah. That's 
That's a big fish right there. Wow. That is my new PP. No doubt in my mind, that is my new personal best. I am not believing this, and I don't have my scale. I guarantee you this fish is over seven pounds. Holy crap. Look at how long this fish is. Look at how long this fish is. From the end of the rod to there. Holy crap. But, um, so it doesn't just catch little fish. They do catch, um, big fish as well. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Fishing with these tiny lures. These are all Rapala, um, lures. The horsefly and the bumblebees are called bumblebugs. Um, bumblebee was the only one I didn't catch anything on. So, but, hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you grab Life by the Fish. Check out my Instagram. Grab Life by the Fish 1. Make sure you follow me because there are a lot of times I'll put fish catches on there that I don't make a video of. So, hope you guys have a good one. Make sure you grab Life by the Fish.